the traditional kind of EOS type of structure to where you have a, a visionary and an integrator to where you have a more of a complex business structure, which you are going to have to have to move from that profit stage into scaling and ultimately a succession or a legacy planning stage. I mean, we've experienced just getting our arms around really um, our KPIs and, and really understanding where we're going. But as a, a fractional CFO, you get even deeper, even more detailed, right? Yes. Yeah, so usually when you uh, start going down the road of uh, when a because you hear sometimes, okay, do I need a fractional CFO? What do they do? Um, and so that is, um, can be very much a unique uh, process, uh, depending on the client, what they're looking for and what they're needing help uh, with. And also depending on what sort of the, the phase of business that they're in. So um, uh, most of the time when a, uh, when a business is looking uh, to determine whether or not they need a fractional CFO, uh, it is a situation, as you mentioned, kind of in the intro, as far as they're not able to hire a full-time CFO inside of their business. And they want somebody to take a little bit of a different, a diff uh, unique look into their business. Sometimes it may be uh, from an end of, okay, we are, our business is profitable, but we're wanting to transition into uh, looking into scaling this. Uh, is our structure uh, one uh, that, and, and it can either be from kind of the quote unquote, the legal structure end, but uh, going beyond that, just from a from an organizational structure uh, and do we have kind of everything there that we need to be able to take the next step in the business, uh, all the way to what sort of KPIs do I need to be measuring? So I know the business is growing, but I'm not really sure exactly why or what do I need to be looking inside, uh, looking at inside of my business uh, to uh, what dials do I need to turn, so to speak, uh, to be able to take this business into the next uh, into its next phase. Now, are um, you focusing on certain niches of businesses or or is that is it any business you can take on? No, we are very, very niche. Um, as far as who we work with. So um, most of the time, and I literally this morning, I sat down and, you know, Facebook messages coming in and just saying, sorry, you know, we're just, we're not able to, you know, as far as you're not fitting the avatar or whatever the case may be, as far as who we work with. But um, most of the, most of the businesses that we work with have, if you think of the kind of those traditional five phases of business, kind of have that startup and then you move into kind of that perseverance into profit. Um, so the, when you're kind of in that world, it's not generally not the, not the area that, that we work with. Um, so if you're trying to trying to just figure things out, so to speak, um, and uh, you're just trying to figure out uh, profit, there are wonderful uh, individuals out there. And I'm sure you probably had uh, some of them on this show that really kind of focus kind of uh, as a fractional CFO um, and even as an accountant that works kind of in those areas. We really focus more on businesses that are already profitable, moving to scale, even to legacy or succession. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And it's completely different what you look at in your business. And it's, it's a complete different mindset of the owner too. So a business owner's mindset when they're in, when they're in perseverance, uh, uh, trying to move to profit is completely different uh, than someone trying to move out. Uh, so you're kind of moving from a uh, business, just kind of being that traditional either owner operator or the traditional kind of EOS type of structure to where you have a, a visionary and an integrator uh, to where you have a more of a complex business structure, which you are going to have to have uh, to move from uh, from that profit stage into um, uh, into scaling uh, and ultimately uh, succession or legacy planning stage. Mm -hmm.